is it just me or are guys even weirder when you're a single mom and you're dating and they're like so i just have to ask since you have two kids um do you have baby daddy drama it's come to my attention that today's dating culture involves something called a situationship and you know who you can't rope into a situationship here's who a single mom that's right we are situationship proof the lie detector determined that was a lie you can't fool us why i'm just gonna call bs on this one because this can happen to anybody if you're a single mom and you chase the wrong guy this can happen to you too it's not like you guys have a ton of options in the first place sir if we can leave the father of our children likely the man that we were with for years okay years what makes you think we won't leave you after a few weeks of moving funny she's right about this part and that's a big red flag if she can leave her kid's dad a guy that she was with for years then there's a good chance that she can leave you too this is why you gotta avoid them at all costs exactly exactly let me just spill some real facts about being a strong independent woman I think it's great. I think it's wonderful. However, I had such a like strong urge to make sure nobody could help me do anything because I was a single mom and I didn't want people to think I needed saving or rescuing. So I always like just overpowered that part of anyone trying to do anything for me. I wouldn't let them. Yeah, that's usually the case. But as she gets older, things are going to change. And I'm at that point now in my life. I'm 38. What? And I just got back from a work trip. I was gone for basically two weeks. I came home last Sunday for three hours and I left again. I come home and there must have been like a power outage in my area. I didn't have anyone that I could call to come turn my power back on. She should have called the utility company for that because that's their job. If there's an outage in your area, then most of the time they'll fix it. I don't have any sort of teammate to like fill in those gaps for me. But what I mean to say is that like I found myself at this place in my life where like I've put myself in this position that it's actually hard for anyone to love me, right? Are you serious? This is what happens when you tell men that you don't need them over and over. This is what happens when you believe in those lies. You find yourself at almost 40, single, and there's nobody to help you. Because it's just like I've put up such this like, this like, like I, I can do this. I've got that. And, and like that's great and I love it, but I don't want to be strong and independent anymore. Like I'm so sick of it. And like, I know the right person's gonna come along and love all of those things about me and like, and then be like, look, I got you. She just now realized that it was all a lie. We pretended that this sexual revolution was a freedom for women. It actually was not. Yes, she was conned and she was sold a bad lie. Like, they're not going to let me, like, do it. They're going to be like, I got you. Like, you need me to go to the house and, like, put your power back on? I got you. You need me to clean out the fridge with all the food that went bad? I got you. And I know that will come, but I also just, like, have to let things go, right? I got to let that power go. So it took her about 20 years to finally understand that. That fear of being saved, like, someone come save me. I'm ready to be saved now. Oh. Bruh. I don't know. Maybe I'm just in my, in my feelings this morning, but that's, those are my thoughts. She's ready to be saved now after she hit the wall. But guess what? There will be that one simp who's going to try to save her.